How to asset back digital currency coin with real world assets. Coins themselves are mostly legal worldwide. Most financial authorities have declared cryptocurrency companies outside of their legislative jurisdiction. In most parts of the world, crypto coins are legal to create, trade and own. New legislation is expected to be introduced over the forthcoming years, but there's little doubt that crypto coins are here to stay. They are even non-taxation objects in some countries, but this we expect will change. Most countries acknowledge cryptocurrencies as a form of assets, but not as an official currency or an officially recognized form of money. Based on this, all services with crypto coins are asset products and not monetary instruments, and are considered legal in sale and trade almost everywhere. Coin exchanges are mostly legal. Cryptocurrency exchanges exist in many countries and are is considered as asset exchanges, just like any internet reseller of assets, such as eBay, etc. Besides the bit license in New York, which has failed to be effective and have only been granted a few times, they're not yet covered by specific legislation. Again, this is because cryptocurrencies are defined as assets. An issuer of a coin repurchasing coins at a stated value is legal. Cryptocurrency is on rare occasions backed by issuers, as with all of the bank-based private blockchains, projects with Santander, RBC, Bank of England, etc., and a few crypto coins such as LXC coin, the Tether, former real coin, gold coin, which has failed due to lack of backing, and others. Here, banks or issuer companies choose to link their coins one to whichever value chosen, based on specific assets that can go up and down in price, like the US dollar, Tether LXC, the Euro, LXCE, gold or other assets. Solutions like these are expected to take over for a range of industries, lending, remittance, banking, asset hybrids, etc. Again, this is legal because cryptocurrencies are defined as assets. The asset backing is composed of three entities, the coins in wallets with owners or kept by issuer. So we have a legal asset, a cryptographic currency coin, backed by an issuer based on an underlying asset value, the place of exchange transactions with settlements. This legal asset coin can be sold on legal exchanges, value based on the buyback price or connected asset, the asset backing the coins and the issues custodians. This legal asset coin can be benchmarked against assets repurchased by issuer based on other assets value, 